You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. As of this morning, Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh is on an indefinite leave of absence, she says, to focus on her health. She was recently treated for pneumonia, but the move comes after the controversy over her healthy Holly book deal continues to spread. Yesterday, the health insurance provider Kaiser Permanente admitted that it bought about 20,000 copies of that book from 2015 to 2018 while it was trying to win new contracts from Baltimore City, as well as Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. The mayor also had a business deal with the University of Maryland Medical System while she was on its board of directors. An investigation into that board and its policies is expected to start today. Several city and even some state leaders also calling for Pew to go further than just take a leave of absence and just resign altogether. In the meantime, the president of the Baltimore City Council, Bernard Jack Young, has taken over as the ex officio mayor or the acting mayor of the city of Baltimore. The House Speaker Michael Bush also being treated for pneumonia. He says he started a field rundown after a follow up procedure to his liver transplant in 2017. Bush has not been in Annapolis so far this week, but he says he's keeping in touch with his staff and House leaders. Not clear whether he'll return before the last day of the session this coming Monday. Sign he died. Bush is 72 years old. He is the longest serving House Speaker in Maryland's long history. The Baltimore City Police Department is hosting a public meeting tonight about the consent decree. The department and the Department of Justice entered into that co consent decree in April 2017 in an effort to regain the public's trust. The meeting tonight is going to be at Breath of God Church in Highlandtown starting at 6 o'clock, supposed to run through 8. The department will talk about implementation efforts, how they've gone so far, and potentially some changes that they hope will allow officers to respond to calls more quickly. The bill that would create a new armed police force for the campuses of Johns Hopkins University is now in the hands of Governor Larry Hogan. House delegates approved that bill yesterday, so it now goes to Hogan's desk. He is expected to sign it, and if he does, that will go into effect on July 1st of this year. Johns Hopkins will be able to have 100 armed police officers at its Homewood campus, the hospital in East Baltimore, and the Peabody Institute in Mount Vernon. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. All right, let's take a look at the headlines for today as we do have a freeze warning that's in effect. We do have some rain that's going to be moving in as we go through this evening. Cool today and then we do have another warm up that's on the way. Future cast, look what's going on as we go through time. So today we're on the dry side, starting off with some sunshine out there, but we're also going to start to increase clouds as the day goes on. So a few high clouds this morning, but those high clouds will allow for that sunshine to move through. Uh, but then the clouds will thicken, setting us up for some rain that will move in as we head later this evening. Uh, not a whole lot of rain and not everybody getting wet as we go through the evening time frame that will be in that'll be out as that area of low pressure moves off to the north and east and then setting us up for uh, some more rain as we head into your Friday. But in the meantime, this is how we'll continue to plan the rest of today. High temperature coming in right around 51 degrees as we look at what's going on as we head towards Thursday. Yes, the home opener increasing clouds temperature nice and mild right around 64 degrees. There's that seven day forecast as we get breezy as we head towards Wednesday, but we will dry out nicely and then Friday more rain and then by the weekend Christian warmer and dry. Orioles got another win last night in Toronto beating the Blue Jays 6 to 5. The Orioles are 3 and 1 on the young season. Great game from David Hess. Stick with us online at WMR2news.com all day long for updates on your top stories and your breaking news and for news and weather on the go. You can always download the WMAR2 app from the app store. We got live radar on there and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.